Tory Lanez done got married. Is it love or is it just convenience? What's love got to do? Got to do with Tory Lanez marriage? Also, we're going to be talking about Beyonce. She refuses to pay her taxes. When they asked her to pay them taxes, she said, no, 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 no. Also, T.I. and Tiny is seeking restitution. They are wanting their money back and to defend themselves against their former friend's claims. So these are the topics of discussion that we are talking about today. Tory Lanez, he is married now. Although he is facing 10 years behind bars, he has now gotten married. This according to Wrap Up. Why would he wait to get locked up to get hooked up? Is there an ulterior motive for Tory Lanez to get married while he is locked up behind bars? It is said that he wants to be released pending his appeal. And if he is released, he will be living in California with his wife. So is he trying to make himself look like a family man to try to get released? seems like he has done everything else to try to get released whether he is trying to get released or not Tory Lanez is now off the market he is married now he married his baby mother he married the mother of his six-year-old child so there might be a lot of hearts that are broken because it appears that Tory Lanez is officially off of the market according to wrap up he got married while serving his 10-year sentence so is it love or is it a marriage of convenience you be the judge according to wrap up newly released court filings reveal that Tory Lanez is now married the matrimonial disclosure came amid details about his bail request just this past week on September 1st court reporter Megan Carniff broke the news on Twitter it is now noted that his fiance is now his wife according to the motion and it is said that in the disclosed documents Lane's legal team outlined his plans of granted bail he intends to reside in Los Angeles with his new wife Rihanna Chesney and their six-year-old child and so his wife and his six-year-old child will be moving from Florida to California where the child will be attending school Currently, Tory Lanez is appealing his 10-year sentence for the Pow Pow of Megan Thee Stallion that happened back in 2020. And per TMZ, he remains in a segregated unit where he is allowed out of his cell for only two hours daily. He is limited to three hours of fresh air per week and monitored closely by staff. So this is the latest that is going on with Tory Lanez. He is married now. Let us know what you think about this. Do you think that it is a marriage of convenience to help Tory Lanez get out of his sentence or to be released until he has an appeal? That is, if he gives an appeal. Or do you think that he is just in love? Do you think that this is just because he fell in love all of a sudden? Well, let us know your thoughts. Make sure you leave a comment below. Queen B refuses to pay her taxes. This according to she finds. So Beyonce is defiant and refuses to pay 2.7 million tax bill. Alleged, alleged, allegedly. So even though she is doing her renaissance tour and reportedly could gross as much as $2 billion, Beyonce is refusing to pay this tax bill. Now girl, we don't want to see you like Tory Lanez behind bars, I am just saying. So we got to take a look at this article that is reporting on this. But seriously, I don't think Beyonce is going to be locked up behind this. Probably she is disputing that she owes this much money to the IRS. So she is just probably trying to work through the situation. But it is interesting to see that she is not just going to let the IRS charge her this amount of money without putting up a fight. She says no, 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 no. So according to the article, the IRS has issued a response to Beyonce's claims of an unjust tax bill of $2.7 million sticking by their assessment and denying any errors in their calculations. So this is what is going on. This is what the IRS is demanding. They are demanding an additional $805,000 in taxes and $161,000 in penalty for 2018. Not all the way back to 2018, girl. You better settle this. But anyway, it says that. And $1,442,747 in taxes and $288,549 in penalties for 2019. Wow, they be charging those penalties, girl. The penalties are going to stack up, I'm telling you. And according to this report, Beyonce also alleges that the IRS plans to add interest on the debt until it is paid in full. The IRS is challenging Beyonce 
of three claims within the legal framework of the u.s tax court sir they do charge interest and the more you owe the more interest you are going to be charged but according to this report this issue goes all the way back to 2018 oh my but anyway this is what is going on with beyonce she is refusing to pay those taxes allege 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 allegedly T.I. and Tony reportedly want the money back that they sent on a lawyer to defend themselves in a defamation lawsuit. They want their old friend Sabrina Peterson to pay up to the tune of $165,000. Now that should be a drop in the bucket for these two. But it's probably the principle of the thing that they are wanting their money back. So reportedly rapper T.I. and his wife Tiny want Sabrina Peterson to pay a six-figure sum to cover their legal fees that they racked up defending themselves in the lawsuit she brought accusing them of coordinated harassment attacks so reportedly court documents that radar online obtained ti and tiny are demanding one hundred and sixty four thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and fifty six cents from sabrina it is amazing that this is all that they're asking for the way that their name was smeared across the internet reportedly back in march of 2021 sabrina sued ti and tiny for defamation she claimed the two smeared her name publicly and ruined her reputation reportedly the three were once friends and they had a falling out sabrina claimed that ti had pulled a pow pow to her head and threatened to unalive her she reported that this happened after ti got into an argument with his assistant she claimed that ti told her b i will unalive you and reportedly around the same time sabrina claimed that she had over 100 women who were ready to speak out against T.I. and reportedly pushed the hashtag surviving T.I. on social media. We remember how this was all over social media at one time and we thought that for sure that T.I. was going to be canceled forever. Seems like it went away and we were wondering what had happened. So it appears that T.I. and Tiny have legal fees and they want their money back. We were all wondering if they had paid somebody under the table to make this situation go away. Or perhaps you know we were wondering if they had made a settlement that was not in the court come to find out that there appears to be no settlement and ti and tiny want their money back that they paid for these legal fees so reportedly ti argued that the statement that sabrina sued over were not defamatory but in opinion so i guess they are saying that it was all in her head alleged alleged allegedly so he had demanded that the case be tossed out but the lower court judge denied ti and tiny's motion to dismiss the majority of claims however earlier this month the decision was reversed at the appellate court so this is very shocking to hear that this was only this month that the decision was reversed because we had not been hearing about this case at all in the media as of late so now reportedly in a newly filed document by ti and tiny they asked the court to award them 164,650 dollars so the harris says ti and tiny request 164,650 dollars 56 cent and attorney fees and costs is reasonable and in line with fee awards regularly affirmed in this district given the complexity of the legal issues the time necessary to adjudicate peterson seven causes of action over a two-year period lord have mercy over a two-year period this has how long ago that it has been since these accusations have been heard against these two or at least against ti and the additional cause of appeal the amount requested should be awarded in full this is what the couple's lawyer wrote a judge has yet to rule the case remains ongoing with the remaining claims so who knew that there were still remaining claims so it is said that as a result the higher court decided five of the seven causes of action in the lawsuit so are there still two more pending claims what is really going on and what are the remaining claims and why is this taking so long so we here at the biz will keep you informed of any information that we get of the ongoing pending claims they must not amount to much because it has not been in the media as of late so let us know what you think about this ti and tiny requesting their money back that they paid for those legal fees make sure you leave a comment below let me know what you think about these topics of discussion what do you think about Tory Lanez waiting to get married when he is locked up behind bars? Let us know your thoughts on this. What about 
Beyonce refusing to pay those taxes. And we find out that allegedly this has been going going since about 2018 that they have been trying to work this out. And what do you think about T.I. and Tiny trying to get the money back that they paid for lawyers? Do you think that they are going to be able to get this money back? It is very shocking, very surprising that they're our proceedings still going on in this situation and nobody has been talking about it make sure you engage it is all about the engagement to help this video get seen to help out to get more subscribers and as you can see i need the subscribers and as always busy bodies thank you so very much for stopping by my page and like i said everything is alleged alleged allegedly you know what to do to help us out like comment and subscribe like this video give this video a thumbs up Comment below, it all helps with the algorithm. Helps with views and getting subscribers. Something that, as you can see, I need. Again, like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's your girl Liz, keeping up with the biz, and I am out. It's Liz with the biz. 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 Yo, this is Liz with the beers. This Liz with the beers telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real, cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beers. Now, this is the end of this video, but I am going to repost the video that I posted up yesterday. And if you've already watched it from yesterday, you can just continue to listen to give your girl some more listening time. 50 Cent that threw a microphone out in the crowd while he was performing at one of his concerts and injured a woman in the middle of her forehead. Of course, everything is alleged, alleged, allegedly. Appears that he held the microphone at the production crew and not at the fans that were coming to the concert. But at the same time, there is no excuse. It looks like he left a gash in this woman's forehead. It is very shocking to see. And 50 Cent should know better. He has been performing for umpteen years now. This is the first that I've heard of him throwing a microphone and injuring someone. In it is very surprising and very disgusting to see that he would throw a microphone and like that. And you know that this woman is going to sue you. It looks like it's probably going to be a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Now, whether it be settled in or out of the court still remains to be seen. And now this woman is seriously injured. She has a gash in her forehead. 50 Cent is bound to get sued over this. Even though his lawyer said that he would not intentionally throw and hit someone, you know, intentionally. But whether he did it intentionally or not, this woman was injured. It looked like he was upset because his microphone was not working. He probably was throwing it at the technical crew that was responsible for the microphone. And wind up hitting this young woman in the forehead. Reportedly, she works for 106. She is a radio host on her Instagram page. She has 75,500 followers. She is seen interviewing some celebrities such as Bow Wow, DDG. She is hugged up with Mariah Carey. Makes you wonder by her being a DJ and working for the radio station 106 whether she said anything derogatory about 50 Cent in the past and whether he might have did this intentionally. However, according to TMZ, 50 Cent's lawyer is saying that his client would never intentionally use a mic as a weapon. So this is crazy where the entertainers are now are throwing stuff stuff objects at the people and, and it seems like he threw the microphone all the way across the room with cardi b you know it seems like it wasn't that much of a distance you know the person was probably right in front of her but 50 cent it seems like he was tossing the thing all the way across the room so he must have had it out for this person whoever this person was that he threw this microphone at but it seems like he got his lawyer on the case already because it has been said that 50 Cent has said that he would not throw a microphone and intentionally injure someone. But if you see the way that he threw that microphone, it seems like he was after somebody. I mean, of course, everything is alleged, alleged, allegedly. Why would you throw the microphone way across the room? What is really going on? Between the audience throwing things at the performance and now the performance throwing things that might not be safe to go to these concerts. And 50 Cent, the multimillionaire, should know better than to be throwing things in public and the audience. And now this person was severely injured. This is just crazy. So let's see who this person was that 50 Cent then injured. Right smack dab in the middle of their forehead. Of course, everything is alleged, alleged, allegedly. So this happened in Los Angeles where 50 Cent was performing. And the person was 
from Power 106. Her name was Brianna Munigan. So I wonder what did this lady say about 50 Cent that made him so upset that he heard the microphone and hit this woman right smack dab in the middle of her forehead. And it is reported that the game is upset about 50 Cent throwing this microphone and hitting this woman because it happened in his city. So this happened in Los Angeles. So it says that game ripped 50 Cent. And he said, yo fat A came to LA hitting women. Now it said that this happened at Wednesday's concert at 50 Cent was celebrating his debut album and although he brought out several guest stars he brought out Nas, Chris Brown, YG, Tigga, the baby the party mood has been dampened as 50 Cent is now a suspect in an LAPD criminal investigation again it says that 50 Cent's attorney Scott Lemon assured us his client would never intentionally use a mic as a weapon but as you can clearly see game ain't buying that for a second when you heard that microphone we is not buying that let's take a look at the video where 50 cent hurled this microphone well we can't say he heard it at the woman because he's denying it he said he wouldn't do it intentionally but let's take a look at it So the young woman's name is Brianna Monaghan. On Instagram, she has 75,500 followers. She says that she is a TV host, radio actor. She is a midday host on Power 106. On her Instagram page, she has a photo hugged up with Mariah Carey. She's interviewing celebrities such as Bow Wow. DGG. She appears to be a somewhat popular DJ. So I don't know. Maybe she said something about 50 Cent in the past. I mean, I don't really know what's going on. What made him throw that microphone? But his lawyer has come out and said that 50 Cent would not throw something at somebody intentional like that. Now, I don't know if I'm believing it. Let me know if you believe it. What you think when you see 50 Cent throw that microphone the way that he did? So it appears that these celebrities need to be careful about throwing these microphones out into the audience and throwing microphones at people, period. Just don't do it. You don't want the fans to be throwing things at you. You don't need to be throwing microphones at the camera crew, the technical crew, the audience, the fans, none of that. As you can see, these microphones can hurt people. And as a celebrity, you can get sued. I bet you 50 Cent will think twice before he throw a microphone again, whether the microphone works or not. I mean, you don't see Beyonce throwing microphones all over the place. And that was a couple of times that her microphone didn't work at her concerts. You got to have a backup plan. You got to have an extra microphone. You out here making millions of dollars. You is not no mom and pop show. You're out here touring, so you should have a backup microphone. Back up everything. But no, you're just going to throw the microphone at the crew. And hit this poor woman right smack dab in the middle of her forehead. No. Of course, everything is alleged, alleged, allegedly. How much this woman is going to seek in damages from 50 Cent? Whether they go to trial, whether they go to court, or whether they sell her out of court or not remains to be seen. But it's almost inedible that this lady is going to be seeking some money, some monetary damages from 50 Cent. Let's take a look at some of the comments on her Instagram page. A uh, person says, I hope you're taking it easy and feeling better. Another person says, I hope you are okay. Another person says, girl, sue the F out of 50. And don't forget, Tariq Effie, Brandon, all of them Westons for real. All right, we're going to go on over to Twitter and see what the Tweety Birds are having to say about this. One person says, Ouch, 50 Cent is in hot water after launching a malfunctioning microphone at the production crew during his performance at Crypto Arena. The microphone struck Power 106 radio host Brianna Monaghan and left a nasty gash on her forehead. She has since filed a police report. So she went ahead and filed a police report. You know she is intending to sue. And can you blame her? So he might have been throwing the microphone at the production crew. So was he really that upset that the microphone wasn't working? That he tossed the microphone like that? So maybe she wasn't his target after all. But still that is no excuse for him to be tossing the microphones around like that. And now this poor woman is injured. So anyway, this is what is going on with 50 Cent. It looks like the microphone was malfunctioning. I guess he was upset at the looks like 50 Cent let his anger get the best of him. So he could have been throwing it at the crew, the technical crew that is, and it wound up hitting this young woman in the forehead. So it is said that 50 Cent pulled that car to be and threw the microphone into the crowd. Well, maybe at the crew because he looks like he was upset because his microphone was not working and hit this young lady right smack down middle in her forehead. And now he is facing a battery charge. 
charge because she did file a police report his lawyer said that he would not intentionally throw something and hit somebody like that but i don't think that this young woman is buying it because of the injury that she done received to her forehead so this is what is going on with 50 cent so let me know what you think about did you think that he was doing it intentionally i mean what was he doing hurling the microphone that was a part of the performance right so yeah this is what's going on with it he said you know hurled the microphone and injured this woman at his concert so let me know what you think about did you think that he was doing it intentionally i mean what was he doing hurling the microphone that was a part of the performance right so yeah this is what's going on with it he said you know hurled the microphone and injured this woman at his concert of course, everything is alleged, alleged, allegedly. So anyway, let me know what you think about this. Make sure you leave a comment below. And as always, Biddy Bodies, thank you so very much for stopping by my page. You know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is Liz, keeping up with the biz, and I am out. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the beats. It's Liz with the beats. It's Liz with the beats. Yo, this is Liz with the beats. It's Liz with the beats. Telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real. Cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beats.